These are the tales of the Bunburys, a team of 22 carat all bounders dedicated to fair play in all fields of sport. Coven, who is that? Ah, that's Dennis Lettuce, a fine fast bowler from Australia. We've had players from all four corners of the world here at Bunbury. Uh, let me show you. Well, now, Rajman, I think this is somebody you already know, Ian Buntham. Oh, yes, indeed, old Holborn. I was riding my Ellie through the mountains one sunny day. He was most tired. What? Oh, how strange. Ian's very strong, you know. Doesn't usually get tired. <laughs> oh, no, silly. I was talking about Ellie, my elephant. Oh. <laughs> you see, old Hoban, like my Ellie, how can I forget the great Ian Buntham? <laughs> oh, dear me, yes, yes. Our Ian's quite a character, you know. Now, um, um, where, where were we? Ah, yes, yes. Now, this is Viv Radish. He's the master blaster of cricket from Sunny Bunny Bados. And he is almost famous like the great Ian Bantham. Famous? Oh, yes, my boy. I should go, go. He's famous, all right. They come from far and wide to bowl at him, you know. But the harder they try, the further he hits the balls. Was that a meteorite, comrade? No, a cricket ball. And who is that lady, Mr. Hoban? Lady? What? Oh, yes. That, my boy, is the great Flo Bun, a fine athlete. Let me tell you about her. Flo was competing in the Olympic Games at Los Bungalies when a pickpocket was spotted in the crowd. Hey, stop that guy! <laughs> Wanna hurt that, buddy? Flo Bun captured the pickpocket and went on to win a couple of gold medals. <laughs> Oh, yes. A remarkable lady, my boy. Most remarkable. Hello, old chap. Um, nice of you to drop in. Hello, Raj Bun. I see you found our mission control. Golden-haired Gower here looks after this part of the game. That's right, my dear chap. This is where all the action is. I suppose I'd better explain. Truth, it's a flame in a law. Now, many we have work to do. Scramble the bunny mobile. We just had an emergency call from Bunny Bados. Hey, yo, what's up, Doc? Hey, who's the dude with a turban? Oh, this is uh, Rajban, our latest recruit. Uh, Rajban, meet Greasebun. Greasebun's our engineer. He also flies the bunny mobile. Hey, yo, Bun, stay cool. Don't be no fool. There's no time for that. Let's get aboard. Okay. No big problems, dude. Old girl just acting a bit temperamental. That's all. <laughs> hey, just making some fine adjustments. Yo. Uh, good luck, Bunbury. Good luck. Soon be rid of those meddling bunnies. You're a genius, dog father. I know. I've sabotaged their precious bunny mobile. When they try to take off, it will fall from the sky like a lead balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, you pathetic little bunny bunnies. Dog father. When that silly contraption of theirs hits the ground and explodes. There won't be enough left of them to make a decent rabbit stew. Whoa, man, that was close. Some nasty dude tried to sabotage the engine, but I fixed it. Hey, I fixed it. Good shit. Boo, boo. Hey, we were lucky we landed on something soft. I wonder what it was. This is Old Hoban, the Bunbury chairman and authority on the Bunbury adventures, new and old.
Now, one winter's day, Golden Hair was taking Rajbun to meet relatives in Bunchester, home of the famous Bunchester United football team. But as they drove through the city centre, they noticed that the people were acting strangely. <laughs> Read all about it. A bunch of United to be sold and turned into a rabbit bar factory. Read all about it. Oh, dearie me. It sounds like this most famous English footballing club is in very bad trouble. We must do something to help them. <laughs> The young lad is right. Bunchester's manager, Matt Bunsby, is an old friend of the Bunburys. I suggest we go and see him. Hey, yo, turn off the waterworks, you guys. If this keeps up, we're going to drown before we get there. Yo! The club's lost money, lads. Our star player, Perry Stryker, and his wife, Gladnost, got themselves arrested while on a goodwill tour of Russia, and we've been relegated to the second division. Now Bunch United football ground is going to be sold to Rackmans, the rabbit pie makers. Hey, yo, I heard about this Rackmans dude. The word in the street is their own by the dog father. And if that creeps behind it, then we better move fast. He probably got his bulldozers out there right now. Oh, yo, see what I mean? By Jove, don't worry, Matt. We'll rescue Perry and raise enough money to save United by staging the greatest football match of all time. Can you really save the club, lads? Oh, goodness me, of course we can. We are the Bunburys. Yeah, we better report to the dog father, Ron. I hope you tied those ropes properly at the top, Reg. Of course I did, Ron. I used a slip knot. <laughs> Here, Ron, guess what? What? I think the slip knot's just slipped. <laughs> 